December 28th, uh, and I'm getting kind of ready. Hey, ben. I know, boy. Hey. Look, everybody, it's the wild attention whore. Right, right there, <laughs> right there. Now, be careful. If the attention whore notices a camera, he will, he'll, he'll, hey. he'll say loud things and You're wave his hand. You're moving Sorry, I've been, I've been that, reading that's my, that's my cold opener. Uh, what? Is, is you just. Just like, I hate you, Chris. <laughs> it's kind of cool putting the robot to acid jazz. Acid jazz? Just look As it kind of dances? No, just look at the music with this. It's just a happy robot. It kind of is. Oh, it just, oh, it just oh, makes oh, it oh shit. <laughs> Somebody go. <laughs> You know what we need? To, you know what we need? What? We need Moose to mill out a smiley face and stick it on the black the black plate. Oh, just like an end plate of smiley. Yeah, right and so to a camera. <laughs> I'm never gonna get to this. <laughs> All right, December 28th, and I've been here a little while and already got some of my cables in. Uh, we've got a. One of them, this will be the audio feed. I have to turn it into something wonderful audio. So I set up my soldering iron, and I've got one set of my connectors and another set of my connectors, and we'll terminate this end, and then zzz, all the way down to master control, we'll terminate that end. And then I also have the other feed in, which is the master control video feed, and that can go to here, so we can do so much medicine. So we can do uh, narration. I don't know what broadcasting from here. So that'll be. We can call it a news desk, Chris. You need a, you need a hook. You need one more hook up there. I already have one more hook. What no, do you mean? look, you got. What do you mean? You need a hook. So you've got a minimum turn radius problem here. You need a hook here. Like yeah, that's one of those that's the center of the right room. Here. You so. Need a hook right here so that you have a nice bed yeah. coming down because this is bad. I'm out of those hooks. It, I'll get you more. It's okay right I'll now. I'll get you more. It's okay it's right now. It's bad. It's dangerous. No. It's minimum turn radius. Yes. And commenters, comment in and teach Bill about minimum turn radiuses with Cat5. Ah! It's five <laughs> inches. Huh? I'm, it's five inches. Okay. What's that? It's Probably about radius. four inches. What? To the center of that, it's probably four inches. So it is overly stressed, but it... Right, I'm talking right here. Look at that. I'm going to go take a nap. It just freaks me out. You, you, go wait, go wait. It's one hook. It takes like five minutes. We can do better. Oh, did you tell them how you're going to do this way better? Because this is Jay? Yeah. Because you're a damn kid. Ch Bill's I, really actually, smart. I, I loved this one. Take that. Uh, this one. This one? Take that one, up. Take that one apart. Or take the back, the back like shell off of it. Like the whole thing? Yeah, there oh, you go. That, oh, wow. That's how it's been. And strain oh, relief. Oh man. Strain relief takes that stuff like genius. this. When you do it right, you get strain relief up to hey, you. And you go get a proper shrink tube gun. I actually you you can, a great you can try this at home. They make this in, in much bigger sizes. I've got some at about inch and a half that I use for a permanent condom. <laughs> yeah, see all different sizes. You just yeah. take some of that and with the heat gun. It's warm. It's not so bad. You can do this and just heat it right down. And it glues. There's glue on the inside. Hooks it right in place. Permanent condom. It's great. And if it stays that way for longer than four hours, contact your medical. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, there's your useless menage. What is the word for that? There's a medical. There's a word for that medical condition. Inability or yeah. Uh, inability, inability to lose an erection. What's it called? Um. I give you a hint. Dark side of the moon. Prior prison. Yeah. Dark side of the moon. That, that doesn't help. Prior the dark side of the moon thing. Yeah, it's a prison. It's a oh, I album. know the album looks it's like that. Prior prison. Might be prior prison. I'm gonna get to work. He's gonna go have a prior prison. Prior prison. Whatever. Prior something. I gotta stop. All right, I'm getting ready to make my cable, and I've got all my tools laid out. Here I've got my iron heating up and needs a little bit of water actually. So any water will really do, but I just happen to have a bottle of water, so just give me a little little bit of water. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright. 
Got my iron. My tip looks okay. You can kind of see that it's in decent condition, but I'll clean it up and you can see it's nice and shiny, all that jazz. <clears throat> On top of that, I got a pair of cutters because, well, I'm going to have to bring this cable probably down a bit. On top of that, a smaller pair of cutters just for the for tipping the ends, just good. A pair of small tweezers because, well, sometimes my big meaty hands don't work. Some electrical tape because why not? And a multitudes of different types of shrink tube and a big pile over there, as well as a shrink tube gun as and my connector. So Gonna set up here. <clears throat> Get kind of going. Also, another very kind of useful piece of kit in this whole thing is a multi tool. So, being these connections, I'm gonna have one of those and one of these going on. So, I just kind of want to prep these first. You can see this one's missing its screw. That's okay. It's not necessarily absolutely necessary. So I take a look at this and I can see that they wired up pins two and three in this thing. And we're gonna do the same thing. Oh, we got a little, little there. piece <laughs> I'm gonna need that as well as a pair of scissors because cutting this I want that to be nice and straight so we're gonna open up this guy too I'm gonna see what we got going on inside of here I should get it. yep we could see again that they wired to two and to three and we're gonna just kind of follow suit on that now you can see I'll bring the main camera in here if you can see it, that guy is two and he's three. So we're just gonna follow suit in this cable. But instead of having it loose and all that stuff, we're gonna case this stuff in some nice shrink tube. We've got some nice sizes. We'll find some that really nice that would work. The problem I've got is this is a little too big for my. So we're probably going to have two pieces that come back and then end up with a little bit of electrical tape just to support the Y. So let's start by, we're going to clean up one of them. Let's start with the messiest of the two. So we're going to get our knife out. Gonna come in here. Just kind of get a, get a little look at this. Solders aren't bad though. I like that. Okay, let's get our iron. Nice and hot, good. Now, now we get to the part where I wish I had three hands, but but I don't, so we'll just kind of tap it and hopefully it'll let go. Okay, there we go. Okay. No. So I want this to act like two separate cables a little bit, so I'm gonna cut back to got some kinked up thing here so we're going to just to begin with we're going to get rid of this little kinked area we've got a nice clean edge on that and then we're going to cut back oh let's say a foot just carefully score so that we got a nice break and then we'll just pull it apart now inside of here we've got four twisted pairs and it's some insulation some gap filler really and we're just gonna kind of come in here and get rid of that 
Now, just like before in a previous cable, we're going to use the same colors because I think that's a good idea. We're going to use greens and blues. So, <coughs> excuse me. So we're going to take green, blue, unwind him. Give him a good old straighten out. Green, let's find him. There he is. Undo green. Kind of bring them aside. Now, we could save these, but they'll get in the way and make our cable look kind of crappy. And being this is just an audio cable, I'm going to just get rid of these two. If I need more cable, I'll buy more cable. Okay, so we got those cables there. Now I've got one piece and I've got two pieces. We're going to kind of feed these down here. You kind of have to think ahead and in inverse. You have to think how your cable is going to look when you're done and work it backwards. So, so we're going to work this all the way down and that gives us a little bit there. So actually what I'm going to do is hmm, debating whether or not to make the cable longer. Yep, I'm going to make the cable just a little bit longer. Take another mm, two inches. Okay, there we go. Again, I'm going to remove the things I don't want. Make sure these are unwound out of the, the group. Get all the insulation, all the unwanted wires. Boom. There we go. Oop, little couple extra strands just hanging on. I like to clean them up so that they don't look like crap. Come on. I think the electrical tape is going to kind of look like crap anyways, unfortunately. But, you know, that's kind of the way it goes. So, what I'm going to do here is actually do what's called building up a, a wire. Or building up a, what I like to call building up a wire. So, we're going to feed on our first layer. This is merely kind of cosmetic. However, when the cable comes onto it, we're going to end up with something that looks like that instead of something that looks like that. So to me, that's a big deal. I like things to look nice. So we'll get that one on there. Okay, let's get it all fed back. So now you can see where our Y is going to be. Oop, I got two different lengths here. That's no good. Oh, those are those are wrong. Oh, I need just another. Are you the same length? Oh, this one's long, so we'll take him out and we'll put this guy in. It gives us a little bit of screw up room too, so. So there's that. That's our first kind of layer. Now why are these different lengths? Because of the bend? Nope. So we're going to make them the same length. That's where a pair of scissors comes in handy. It'll give us a nice clean edge. Okay. Feed it on. It's a lot better than it was going to be. Okay, so we got that going on. So let's bring in our, our shrink. And we're going to press all that into the Y and shrink this down first. I kind of want to lock. What this does is kind of lock it in for the rest of it. So now we can kind of separate them. Kind of give them a good... Why am I doing this first? Well, I kind of know what I'm doing, so I feel confident that I'm going to not have to remake this part, so... The fun part would be doing this behind master control because that wire is already in place. All right. 
That's our first layer there. Now we're going to come in and kind of consolidate them a little bit. I want to do about that much there. Right about there. Grab our scissors. Snip that down. Now we feed both of them through. Kind of squish them together. Force it down. Force it down in there. Grab the wires over here. And just kind of slide you right into place. So now we've kind of cut it in half, but we created this nice little lying area. Again, bring him into play. Now I want to press my shrink wrap towards my end so that I end up with this little end here. Okay, that's all it takes. Now the last little piece. Take a little bit off here, cut that down, and just roll out just the smallest amount. We don't, you know, this isn't, we're not trying to keep electrical, this is all about beauty at this point. Because <clears throat> I like things to look nice. So we'll come in here and snip. And all we're going to do is just cross it there, flat over, kind of work it. didn't do too good there but I did okay but now we got kind of a build out to our to our ends so <clears throat> being we're going with the female ends here we go doo, 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 doo. where did my other one go oh it's right in front of my face so we've got two ends that's fine we're gonna back feed now oh, we can keep that tape on there it's a little bit Yankee looking, but anyway, so that one's got blues, so this one, white will be green. We're gonna, doo -doo -doo, gonna shove this guy through there, through into there. I don't want to go any further. What's going on here? What are you caught on? You can't be caught on the sun. Uh, shrink tube, there's not really anything there. To get caught on. We wanted to. Ah, there we go. That was resilient. Resistant. You get back in there. We'll do the same here so that we got both of them ready to go. Okay. Now I want this guy to here to end. I want this and that to be kind of close. So I'm going to come in here, and I can already see that my ends are already pre-tinned, but I want to clean that edge up so it's nice and, nice and good. All right, over in my tool kit, got my solder, <coughs> check my camera, yep, still recording, everything looks good. Now I want really tiny pieces because when it's done soldering, I want this to cover over like that. And I actually want to cram that all the way down. So another piece kind of like him would really be nice. So I'll come in, actually snip. And because I know I'm going to do it a couple more times, we'll just quickly snip. pieces and he can be over there. Okay. I'm going to kind of stretch this out, but I know I'm gonna go okay. Right about mm, there. -ish. Okay. Starting with green. Oop, one tool that I forgot. Stripping. <clears throat> I 
Man, my good old people hate stripper, but I like it. I like them a lot. I think that they're, they let me get in here and kind of bite just where I want to bite. And boop, nope. It takes a little practice some days. The iron itself is going to melt some of the insulation. It's just a fact of life, unfortunately. But uh, that's okay. So we're going to take some of our solder. Just come in here a little bit. Build up a little bit of a blob. Yep. Same thing on three. Oop. Okay. Now, because I want to, I'm going to. Actually, I'm going to make these even smaller. Do 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 do. My scissors go there. Because it's going to be tiny, tiny, tiny. There we go. One. And two. Okay. Now I want two to be solid. So I'm going to bring it in. I'm going to touch. Get everything warmed up. Slide him on. Oops, he's not exactly where I want him to be. Okay. Not too bad. Could be better. Okay. Same as before. Let's get that solder warmed up. Get in there. Get in there, you bugger. Extend these over, just like that. Once again, <clears throat> good old shrink tube. Ow, ow, ow. That's really warm. All right. Now I should be able to back pull this. Does not want to move. Get it lined up right. This one is not happy about the shrink tube for some reason. Bada boom, bada bing. That's one. Now we do another one. <clears throat> this one gets a little more complicated because, well, there's a connector already hanging out there. But no, not too much more difficult. Just like before, come in. Doo -doo -doo. Come on. Come on. There you go. It starts to flow. There you go. Nice clean ends. Check them here. Okay. Let's give me some more solder here. Oops, wants to move, so I'm going to put her on edge. Yeah, look how clean that looks. Good, good. Oops, wants to move. Look, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, just like before, I'm going to cut this guy in half. So I got two little tiny ones, and he's gonna go back in there. For some reason, he the other one didn't seem to have one of those, but that's okay. <clears throat> okay, wind a little, wind a little bit. Very good straightening out. Iron will melt a little bit of that away, so no biggie. Okay, good, good, good. <clears throat> All on set. Slide him in. Him in too. Okay. Two first, which is right there. Two is a solid. 
Well, it wants to slide. So we'll give it some more mass. Oh, that doesn't work. Give it some more mass. Use a circular object. Why not? Nope. Um, ah, here we go. This is where third hands come in really handy, but I don't have any. I don't have one of those right now, so tough toenails today. That's, this one just wants to slide. Well, okay. Uh, why do you want to slide so much? This will be any better, but we're gonna find out. Bingo! Come on. Who loves you? Come on, Sonner. Sonner warms up. Pop it in. Bam. Nice and good. Let me just cover him up. And <clears throat> once again. Boom. I don't want to move. Gotta keep popping him every once in a while. Just touch him and push him back in place. Whew. Good to go. all finished up right there. I like that. Pull him down. He slides in. <clears throat> and I tighten him up. Look at that. This one's a little loose. Oh, no, he's got a screw too. We're going to tighten him up. Still does Still comes on. Huh. Well, but there you go. That's my new cable for the studio side and now I just get to go down to the other end with oops ah here we go and do those guys somewhere along the way it stopped recording I'm not sure when but our cables finished you can see nice cable endings and got a couple layers of solder mat or <coughs> shrink tube sorry and then a Y and then if I had to hate one part I'd hate that part right there but for the most part, I'm pretty happy. For the most part, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's pretty good. Now I got to go replicate this side down there in Master Control, and right behind this, you know, it'll be a little more complicated because I don't know. I won't have a table. However, I could kind of. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna do this yet. Meow, 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 meow.